My name is William Rowe, former captain of the cargo ship, the Lady Ernestine. And this is my story of a fateful day in 1886. It was a dirty night, and the heavy sea roared like an angry beast. We were bound to Plymouth from Newcastle, carrying a cargo of coal. I remember that night like it was yesterday. The growling waves hurling across the deck, and the ship being tossed about like a rag dog. The funny thing was, there were no reports of any storms when we set sail. It all started after the lady had visited the crew herself to celebrate our maiden voyage launch from Newcastle. She was full of fun. What a talent playing her piano music to the crew. Strange thing was, she never let that music book out of her sight. It was always with her. We shared a glass of champagne in my quarters before she took a leave from the ship. Later, I realised she'd left her music book behind. It was too late to turn the ship around, so I decided to return the book once we had delivered our cargo. I never had the chance. The storm grew very fierce. I realised all was lost. I cried. Before I fled, I tried to recover some belongings from my quarters. I went to grasp the lady's music book. But there was a mighty crash as the engines exploded. I was sent hurtling to the watery deck. I lost sight of the book as it floated away from me. And in that moment, I clearly heard the lady's piano music playing above the roar of the waves. Luckily, my first mate dragged me away to safety just in time. Timbers wailing under the strain. The crewmen fighting the waves in vain. The howl of a siren wailing in pain. We were lost, lost and afraid. Only four of us survived that fateful day. The night after, I had a terrible dream. I saw the ghosts of my dead crewmen rising from their watery graves, searching the seabed for the book. And then I saw the Lady Ernestine. She turned around. Her ghostly face made me awaken with a start. <laughs> a week later, I took to visit the lady in this very room. She was shocked on hearing the news of my ship being lost and told me of another vessel that reported no such storm barely an hour after we had set sail. I then offered to pay for the loss of the music book. She gave me this strange, confused look, turned round and laughed at me. I thought that such behaviour was certainly very odd, until it was to my great surprise and horror that she revealed to me the very same music book. I was lost, confused, I doubted my own mind. I made my excuses and left swiftly. Many years passed. I never went to sea again throughout all those years. I would sometimes hear tales of cargo ships being wrecked along the same shores. Those that survived told of hearing piano music right before the untimely end of their vessel. And they say that if you hear the siren's music, something very bad is about to happen.